Jeremy Clarkson shares disagreement with James May over the Grand Tour exit. Jeremy Clarkson admitted he disagreed with James May's comments following their exit from Prime Video's The Grand Tour, along with Richard Hammond. The 63-year-old wrote in his latest column, As I'm sure you know, Top Gear has reached the end of the line, and I've now made my last ever Grand Tour. This has puzzled my old mate James May. He went on the radio this week and said, Cars have never been more interesting. He added to the sun. The comments Jeremy was referring to saw James 60 tell BBC Radio 4's Today program earlier this week. I do think that despite us obviously coming to the end of our time doing this and the cancellation of Top Gear, there has never been a better time for there to be a motoring program. Things like the future of autonomous cars, new means of powering cars, a change of general attitudes towards cars and driving, there's never been a better time for a car show, and the car show itself needs reinvention. Jeremy continued in the aforementioned column, I sort of see what James is saying, but naturally I don't agree with him, because I think cars have never been more dull. I've got some kind of hybrid BMW on test at the moment, and instead of an exceeding engine in noise, it plays music which was composed by Hans Zimmer. At first... This is amusing, but pretty soon it becomes annoying. The Clarkson's farm star added that it doesn't take long to tire of the other features that are now mandatory on cars, including speed limit alerts and brake sensors. Elsewhere during his stint as today's guest editor, James revealed that the end of the Grand Tour may not be the end of his partnership with Jeremy and Richard. He told listeners, I wouldn't rule it out, but you do have to bear in mind that we're all getting on a bit. We've got two episodes of the Grand Tour in the bag. There's one coming out very soon and another coming out a bit after that. But what happens between now and then, we'll have to wait and see. The final installments will see the trio travel back to Africa as they conclude the show in Mauritania and Zimbabwe. Last month, reports emerged that the three presenters were leaving the Prime Video Show marking an end to their 20-year partnership. It is unclear whether the Grand Tour will continue without the trio, with BBC reporting that Prime Video is exploring options for a new incarnation of the show. The news came 